colleagues, we are in a real crisis of confidence and the debate surrounding the stability bond is not timely. It's not going to uh, recover the lo confidence which has been lost. We have um, said that the currency would remain uh, stable and there would not be any taking over of the uh, debts of other countries. That's now been broken. There's been breach of that with the bailouts. Now, the people outside, um, the citizens understand that there w is a need for um, rescue, um, but they feel disappointed. They feel they've been uh, d deceived. And then they feel disappointed. Either you have stability, then you don't need these bonds, because we've got almost the same uh, financing conditions, or we don't have stability, at which point stability is just um, a euphemism for redistribution. The difference is with the stability f um, bonds, the, the discrepancies would be papered over. But the fact of the matter is that there are still horrendous levels of uh, debt in individual countries. Let's not forget that we've got to make sure that reforms come. Um, otherwise, we are simply going to solve the problem, but at the expense of other countries uh, than where the problems arose in the first place. We need to look at financial integration of the, of the markets, and we, we have to go in that direction. This would mean the EU levying its own tax and uh, there being a finance minister. But let's postpone this until we have all of those conditions in place. Thank you.